Yeah, coming into the auditorium here in Verald, House of Wittis. <coughs> Those of you who are online, I hope you had some tea or coffee there in your places, as we had here. And, uh, but we will close this before four o'clock, even though we have had some delays and some, but there had just been so many interesting things to hear about. And, but uh, this morning I was supposed to give you a little presentation about the network that we dream of establishing, uh, at least informally, informally in the, before the end of the month. As I said, it's one of the objectives of the five project to make this network. And uh, so, yes, so I'm just going to run through a few slides because I had prepared it. <laughs> but, uh, and uh, so, yeah. Oh, I'm I'm zoning out as you see. <laughs> and it's probably not starting at the beginning, so yeah. Yeah. And there. Yes. Well, you heard about the this a little bit pro about the about the network in the keen keynote speech this morning. And just to make this very, very brief. Oh, that was not, should be, should not be in there, but okay. And uh, so, but the five project, uh, we, we built it up with kind of three pillars, this virtual center of excellence, virtual time travel demonstration and virtual museum and exhibition system. And that is in a way how we see this network as having some kind of this three pillars within it. And so, the World Tour Center of Excellence. It's just about how we can share knowledge, our best practice, and 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 uh, engage. Then, as we have been doing it now in the five project and in the in the other projects, engaging with users. And uh, this picture there shows she is taking at Skrido Cluster, showing you three generations actually experimenting or experiencing the virtual reality of the monastery just on site in the ruins. Uh, would be will be nice when we have that totally an augmented reality, as we heard something of in in the first session here. Uh, then the virtual time travel demonstration. I mean that is something that we have heard a lot about today. I mean to recreate the past and uh, use the gaming engines to just travel into the past. How can we how can we do more of that and how can we maybe do it less uh, time consuming and, and, and money consuming. And uh, because it's, it's, it's important, uh, uh, not least the virtual museum and exhibition system, uh, that is something that has been built up now in, in, in the Cine project and, and, and other projects and this uh, University of St. Andrews that has been in charge of that with uh, Alan Miller there as, uh, as the main man. For, for doing that. It is this important thing of, of to be able to have our digital heritage items, have the content of the assets somewhere where we can then easily take it and use it in some other context, use it in, in augmented reality and, and, and further on. Uh, just shows you there, picture taken at the same day as with the three generations there. At the, at the monastery at Skrida Cluster, where we situated the, the uh, or put where, well, we were experimenting where, where, where should the statue of St. Barbara, where, where would that have been there in the, in the ruins? Uh, so, as I said, one of our specific objectives. So, why a Northern Heritage Network? The goal is, of course, just to strengthen the transnational and multidisciplinary collaboration and uh, bring together knowledge institutions, heritage organizations, SMEs, try to build a very, very uh, broad consortium of, of so, because we are so used to, 
not least in the heritage sector, I would say, we are often very, very narrow-minded and working always in silos and within some boxes. I mean, and, and we get more ideas if we come together like here today and listen to, to, to some experts or, 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 or people that are presenting to us something from, from other, other sectors and how they are working with things that we could maybe use hear about that. Exploring how new technologies can be used in this field. Very important thing. That, uh, that is something that we have been doing here today. And of course, we are all doing some projects that we have heard of here today. Build on that, upscale the outputs, and, and then head into new projects. That is maybe the most important thing of such a network, where we would have a platform where we all could discuss things to find also partners for new, new projects. And, uh, and I mean, it's, it's, there is so much out there from my point of view in the, uh, for the heritage uh, in these new technologies. Uh, we are, we are there, are, there are so many new options that we have, which really opens the doors to the, to the past. And, uh, and, uh, we need to establish some, some collaboration. And uh, this little video of a skull from, the from one of the 300 graves there that were opened in the excavation of Skridu Cluster. It's just, there's a, there's a mark there on, the, on it from something sharp. What was that? Was it a spade or was it a sword? I mean, it's now on Sketch, Sketchfab and... and <laughs> Anyone in the world can see it and, and think about it. Okay, okay. It, 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 it can bring some bone uh, experts. They, they can think about it. They can uh, analyze it on, on this digital replica. But then also some writer might be inspired. Okay, maybe, maybe some, someone from the, from the Crusades ended his life there at Skriðu Cluster in Iceland. So this is, a, this is from a... a battle down in the Middle East. So uh, how is the network going to do this? I mean, it's just with having some, uh, open some uh, me media and, and, and have, having, making this contact between us. And we have, we have this platform there in a way already now with uh, which you can, have a look on under the northernheritage.org and, uh, and uh, we can hopefully build on that. You can already there sign up for more information or if you just want to say, okay, we, we really want to be a part of this network. And, uh, and so the geographical focus of the network, that is something that we discussed in the, in the steering committee of, of the five project. It's, it's based on, of course, the Northern Periphery and Arctic area, but, uh, but uh, for sure, I think we would even expand this, or I'd hopefully expand it very soon. But if we are thinking of, 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 of Northern heritage, well, what is, what is this North? That's always the question. But just to end here with, uh, with uh, one of the, one of, one of good, well, maybe a cliche, but, uh, I always like this. I mean, coming together is the beginning and, uh, and keeping together is progress. And then working together is success, as Henry Ford said some century ago. So, and today, then for sure, we came together and uh, had a wonderful day here in Reykjavik, in, in Verald, the House of British. And uh, I'm sure. There will be some projects and some collaborations uh, that will spring from this day here today. And, uh, and uh, hopefully we will, we will be able to allure many of you into our network that we will probably email you about more now in the, in the next days. Because the fire project that is ending in the ending now in the end of June. So we are on the final, final meters in it. And, uh, 
And but before I close this conference, I want to give those who are online there the opportunity to if they want to say something. And uh, Alan, are you still there with us? Do you want to give us some wise words in the end? Uh, th thank, thank you, Scully. Um, from, from what I've seen of the of the conference, it seems it, it, it's been a it's been a great success and um, a real real achievement. And and so I suppose that um, the wise thing to do is is to um, propose a vote of thanks to you for um, all the work that you've done in putting it putting it together and and providing this forum for for people to meet. So um, if everybody could put their hands together in appreciation of uh, Scully's organization, that would be great. Well, thank you for that, Alan. And uh, but thank, thank you all. I mean, this, this wouldn't have been any, any success if I hadn't had all these good speakers. And, uh, and but we have and, and all the good collaborators in this project and then then the consortium that I managed to draw around this year in in Iceland of the universities of the Technical College and uh, Gagarin, Epla, 1238, Battle of Iceland. I mean it's there are so there are so many that have have put their effort into this and uh, but I'm I'm very happy with the day. And I think it's just best to end there. Then you have have time to. Well, we will soon have to pack all the gadgets out there. But but I saw that some of you were very interested into fighting the Battle of Iceland, which then you will might might have a possibility to do. But thank you all who participated in this and uh, and helped us to make this real. And hopefully we will see you all in a year on the first conference of the new network. So thank you and goodbye. <laughs>